So, um, who do you want to start with, Dan? Dean. You want to start with Dean, okay. I have a friend who I met in, in overseas. Um, Dean, his name is. I met through Helga. What happened was uh, I finished up spending uh, three days with Dean. Dean came from uh, another place in the USA and stayed with me for three days. I invited him to. He'd never met me before. So you can imagine that. Like, he's just heard about me through Helga. Then he decided, he knew I was in the States, so I couldn't get to where he was, and so he decided to buy a plane ticket, fly to where we were, which he did do, he hired a car, and he stayed in our house with us. So he stayed in our house for three days. So I got to know Dean pretty well. And Dean is very, very enthusiastic about the Divine Love Path. Um, obviously, Dean's got a, lo a lot of background in different religious forms, and he's always been so interested in religion generally, um, and all sorts of New Age spiritualist movements generally as well, and that's how he actually finished up meeting with Helga. But what's happening a lot for Dean is that he has this emotion at times, and my dear friend Dean, you will get this tape as I know you will, so, uh, <laughs> from Helga, <laughs> so, uh, like I love you very much my friend, and, uh, and, but, but there's some comments that need to be made. Now, the reason why we're making these comments is because it will illustrate to you what's actually going on. So what we're going to do, for, for Dean's sake here, as well, he's often said in the past that he's always received the DVDs three months too late. <laughs> and my feelings are that that's not the case at all, but I know Dean feels that way. Well, this one he's going to receive the audio of probably on Monday or Tuesday. <laughs> so, <laughs> so hopefully he will get that by then when he comes back from his retreat that he's on currently. What we're going to do is actually read what he's written and, and then as Mary reads it, I'm going to stop her and point out the deception. And, and the reason why I'm, we're, we're doing this here is so that you can actually see when something's going on that's deceiving even in your words. Right? And what we'll hopefully do in the end of all of this is get to the point where you can see where self-deception is occurring in, in your life and, and hopefully for Dean it will be very powerful for him as well. So, Do you want to give a little bit of background about what actually happened? Uh, the background basically is that um, he had a relationship with a woman, um, her name is Elizabeth and uh, Elizabeth is another dear friend of mine who I've kept in contact with as well. But Dean and Elizabeth have had a breakup, and there's quite a lot of anger and animosity between the two of them for different reasons. And, uh, and that in itself is something that they're in denial about, both, you know, for different reasons. And there's a big law of attraction going on. Elizabeth towards her father-based issues, and Dean towards his mother-based issues. Now, as a result of that, a year ago, Elizabeth removed herself from the Yahoo Groups forum. And then, only recently, she wanted to come back to the forum and she made a few posts. But, of course, because of these, this animosity that's going on, this unresolved emotion that's going on between the two of them, Dean wanted to do something about her being on the forum. And so, he's constantly looking for any reason where he might be able to moderate her off the forum. So, what happened was he moderated her because of a comment that she was meant to have made off the forum. So the Divine Love Forum is no longer the Divine Love Forum, it's actually the Natural Love Forum now, because it has a moderator. <laughs> Do you understand why? Free will. By the way, any of you, even if you create a forum of your own, the fact that you want to moderate it means that you are actually setting yourself up as the moderator of people's free will. That straight away is in disharmony with Divine Love as Helga, I feel, has pointed out to him. The fact that we moderate things <coughs> for any reason is actually also discounting our law of attraction. Can you see that? We're basically saying, I don't want that piece of information to hit me because it already has through my law of attraction. Right? So I'm actually preventing the law of attraction from operating in my case, which is actually quite harmful to your own soul because you've now stopped what could be a very healing process. So in, in stopping it or moderating somebody, you're actually preventing the law of attraction from working perfectly. So my suggestion, if any of you in the future set up any forums, that you forget this moderator thing going on and you just allow things to be posted. Now people say to me, but like I had a, 
on the Divine Truth Forum at one point, there was this man posting X-rated material on the forum. It went on for a little while. And I had literally like every woman on the forum posted to me saying, why hadn't I removed this man from the forum? And my answer back was, it's your law of attraction. <laughs> when they started to dealing with the emotions, the man just stopped, proce stopped posting on the forum. Does that make sense? So, so it was her, their law of attraction to deal with some sexual issues and so forth that were just being attracted. So every single thing in your life is a law of attraction. Please understand that. It's really important to understand that. Including so there's a bit spam? of the... Sorry? Including spam? Including spam. <laughs> well, you think about what spam about. It's about marketing. What's marketing about? It's about actually modifying you, what your actions are to suit somebody else's desire for money, basically, or your desire, or desire to let you know some things. So all of that thing is just, all of it is based on law of attraction still, with different emotions. Oftentimes we have a lot of difficulty accessing the emotion because we don't understand what, how the law of attraction is working. Everything in your universe is the law of attraction. <laughs> When John, the Apostle John passed into the spirit world, in the first month I got an opportunity to speak with him about a few things. And one of the first things he said to me was he did not realise how absolutely every single thing that happened to him while he was on earth, was, including his neighbours, his friends, every single thing they did to him or for him, absolutely everything was because of an emotion that was inside of him at the time. So he had a neighbour who was quite violent and abusive towards him and that was his law of attraction. John complained about him constantly. He actually tried to take him to court a few times about different things he had done. All his law of attraction. And when he passed, he realised that all of this was my law of attraction. Right? And so once you understand that truth in a real soulful way, you'll start enjoying your law of attraction. Most of you still do not enjoy your law of attraction. So that's telling you actually that you want to reject your law of attraction, which is actually preventing your progression rather than actually helping it. Can you see that? So anyway, that's the basic background. And uh, so let's see what some comments that were made. And what I'll, try, what I'll do is I'll stop, just stop Mary and discuss the self-deception emotions going on. Okay, I'll just read this one, hey? Uh, can we start with the one that he... This one? <coughs> Which one was the one that he this said? This one, this the one. The long one. Yeah, yeah that, that one. one. That's this one. Yeah, oh, sorry. that's that one. Is it? Okay. Yep. Okay, so there's a discussion happening, obviously, and he says he's responding to Teresa. Classic, classic marketing talk, Teresa. So we've got to stop there, right? He just deceived himself. He used uh, intellectual rationale of marketing talk in order to make a sarcastic attack on Teresa. Right? Teresa probably didn't even feel it, but it was his emotion of self-deception that made the comment. No, uh, she did, because it was the law of attraction for her as well yeah. about something else. But yeah. anyway. Fear, uncertainty and doubt. That's what he's referring to. You did absolutely nothing wrong, and as I have indicated, should Rebecca acknowledge the truth, she will be welcome. Stop again. Um, no one has to acknowledge any truth. If you try to force someone to acknowledge a truth, you are now harming their free will. Is that loving? No. You are not in a space of love when you harm another person's free will. Simple. You can't say you love someone and in the same breath harm their free will. You don't love them from God's perspective. You might think you love them, but you do not love them. This is like if we take it to an extreme, an abusive man smacking his wife around because she did something he didn't like her to do. Right? That's, uh, that's taking this to an extreme. But it's the same action of an unloving action towards a person's free will. I'm actually very hopeful of that as she, has threat as she last threatened me a couple of days ago. Can't, it's not a truth either. He's not hopeful of that at all. The emotion inside of him is one of anger. His action proves his anger. His action was to remove her from a forum, which is a public forum supposedly set up for people that get help on the divine love path. 
the actual feeling that he has is very different than being hopeful. He actually wants her to change to suit what he wants her to do in order for him to avoid his underlying causal emotion. That's his pure desire. So his pure desire actually is to stop her doing what she's doing because it triggers him. Many of you have felt that emotion with me, right? When I'm talking, <laughs> you feel like, I don't want to hear this, I don't want to hear this. How can I, how can I stop him? And it's the same emotion. <laughs> Mary's feeling really stressed because she feels we're outing Dean and no, we're no. not Dean, we're actually... We love you, Dean. We love you, Dean. <laughs> hopeless, that's me. Emotion of self-deception. He doesn't feel hopeless at all, actually. Right? What he's feeling is underneath that, there is this thing with women that he feels drawn into interactions with women where women eventually hurt him. Does that make sense? And this is very much related to his mother that he, I think he may even live with her or has lived with her recently and, and yet still hasn't dealt with the emotion. And so it's a perfect law of attraction for him to deal with this underlying emotion that he has with his mother. And the emotion is he feels drawn into doing anything for a woman that he can only to find out later on that they abuse that trust or he feels they abuse that trust or they, he, they abuse that gift. But the emotion of self-deception is that he even wants to do it as a gift because in the end when he doesn't get what he wants as a result, he gets angry, which means the original action was not a gift at all. Okay. I can't tell you how highly I think of her. I believe she was my soulmate at one time before AJ. Yeah, we need to make a new, some kind of new, like, you know how it's before the, before the Christian era, after the Christian era? <laughs> now it seems to be before AJ and after AJ. You know, I have that, that definite segment in my life. Does anyone else? <laughs> e AJ, A AJ. Sorry about that. Um, the truth is that Dean at the moment does not think highly of Elizabeth. He would like to believe he thinks highly of Elizabeth, rationale of self-deception, in order to feel good about himself. He's trying to tell himself that he's actually a loving person when in reality his actions have just proven that he's not a loving person in this instance. Now I'm not saying, Dean, that you're an unloving person right across the board. I'm saying in your interactions with women, you have yet to understand what love is. I could go on and on about all the good things I think and like about her. She really is an incredible person and I would encourage all of you to get to know her personally off list. So in other words, you're not allowed to get to know her personally on the forum. You have to now get to know her personally off the forum if you really want to know her. Via Dean. Via Dean, yeah. Now, the, there's some really, really strong emotions of control here. Now, he feels that this woman is controlling him. But in reality, because of his fear of control from a woman, which is related to his mother, he is now actually controlling her. And this is what we often do, right? What we often do is what we're afraid of the other person doing to us, we finish up doing to them. Right? And a lot of it is just deceiving ourselves as to what's the underlying reason. So actually, Dean, you're being very controlling and you want to control a woman. You want to control a woman because if you can't control a woman, she will hurt you and you do not want to be hurt. And that comes from a very deep emotion inside of you that you've been terribly hurt by women, in particular by your mother and the methods in which she used to control you. Due to the legal actions she is threatening me with, which again I can document off list with her own emails, I don't feel the need to censor myself for this group. Uh, that is totally untrue. He's actually censoring not only himself, because he's not telling you his true emotions about Elizabeth, but also he's censoring Elizabeth, so he's also censoring another person. Also, he's worried about legal action. Why would you be worried about legal action if it's your law of attraction? If it's your law of attraction, you'd be going into the legal action in the sense of you'd be actually feeling how that makes you feel. Now, for many of you, if you had legal action brought against you, how would you feel? There'd be a fear of authority, a fear of being wrong, the fear of being, you know what I mean, other people thinking you're wrong when you might not be. You know, there's all these other emotions that might be triggered and these are some of the emotions that exist in Dean that he needs to allow himself to access. So, um, so excluding her based on her own choices, 
i.e. she resigned from the group voluntarily and with no consultation with me last year, seemed appropriate. All right. Now he's saying that the previous year when she resigned from the Yahoo group forum, she did it without consultation of him. <laughs> does she need to consult him? No. Why does he feel she needs to consult him? Because she wa he wants to control her. Yeah. Can I just say, any time you want to control anything, you are always avoiding an emotion. Every time you're avoiding one of your own emotions, by the way. Yeah. If you have issues with this, please email me off list and we can discuss. Why does everything have to happen off list? Isn't, isn't divine truth totally transparent? Why would something have to, hap happen, to, have to happen off list? There is only one real reason. And that is so that somebody can control the whole interaction. Is it not? Yeah. Right? Because you don't want an uncontrolled reaction from everybody. So what you want to do is control the reaction by having everything in an un or a private forum. I'm sorry, but it's not harmonious with divine love. Everything should always be on list, if we could say. <laughs> everything should always be open and transparent. <coughs> If, in the interest of full disclosure, something we discuss might be relevant to the group, it will be posted by me. So what's that saying? <laughs> That's saying I have got total control over what all of you are basically saying and unless I decide that it's in the interest of the group... So, hang a sec here, there seems to be a different God now. Sorry, Dean, but unfortunately, you're setting yourself up above God here. God doesn't even do that. Like, God doesn't decide, oh, no, Brian, you're out of line. Um, you're now off list, right? You know, Brian, God doesn't even decide that. So if I'm deciding it, what am I doing? I'm placing myself above God, really. There's a huge emotion in that. A huge emotion in that. And then you need to look at that emotion. I'm feeling very sad about all of this and would like to have the cir would have liked the circumstances to have been different. Of all the lines that he said in that entire message, that was the only one that was truthful. The truth is that he is feeling very sad about his interactions with uh, Elizabeth and he would certainly like the circumstances to be different. However, that in itself proves some of these emotions of control. He's, he wants the circumstances to be different and so now he's going to make them different right, by controlling the interactions. So does everyone see what's going on there? A mixture of emotions of self-deception and rationale of self-deception all the way through the email. Justifying one unloving act, which is just the unloving act of saying that you don't have your free will. Understandably, a number of people have gotten quite upset with it and resigned from the forum. <laughs> By the way, that's an emotion of self-deception. If you resign from the forum, because of this interaction, you're ignoring your law of attraction. You have been triggered by, by somebody being treated unfairly and instead of allowing yourself to go into that emotionally, you're saying, I spit the dummy now, I spit the dummy now, I'm going off in a huff too. Your law of attraction has brought you this event so that you could access this emotion within you. Focus on that, feel that. Stay on the forum and let yourself feel that to the end. Does that make sense? Let yourself trigger that. Where do we go next, Darlene? Mm. <coughs> yeah, um, a microphone if mm -hmm. one's around. Just right next to you. Um, right up. Um, there are, we probably finished with that, but uh, there were about a dozen emails off list exchanged by Dean and myself yep. till I just removed myself from it because it became rather pointless for me to keep answering him because yes. in the end he wrote to me stuff like he would like me to ring you and find out from AJ what he had to say about it because this scenario is very much like um, AJ did with Natalie no it's and not I said no it's not at all, not at what, all. whatever I said was yep. just he couldn't hear it he didn't hear yep. me it was no, I just removed myself from the situation but it went on for about a dozen emails yes now what's happening is that Obviously, Dean's main issue is with women. 
Yes. So any woman who even tries to correct him, yes. and which you wrote a lovely email, by the way, um, you know, yeah, <laughs> about free will and, and free will being loving and so forth, but any woman who tries to correct him will automatically not be heard. He treated me like his mother in the end. Exactly. That's when I stopped and writing. that's the entire point. <laughs> yes. That's exactly the emotion he needs to get into, is what's going on between then him and his mother. He wrote things like, which part of what I just said to you don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you understand a lot more about it than what he does, actually, at the moment. So, Dean, listen to these women. They are teaching you a lot of things. And the point is, as well, is about the self-deceiving state that that Dean is in isn't it it's it's about the fact that he feels he's feeling his emotions but actually there's a big chunk of causal emotion that he's trying to skip over yeah yeah and the big chunk of causal emotion is with women like that's the interaction that's with women 